guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to another speed build. Now, I'm actually introducing a new series on this channel. I don't know how long it's going to run, but it's definitely fun, so I'm going to try it out for a bit. And it was actually inspired from my Furnish Me series, so if you don't know what that is, I have a show on this channel where you can submit a home that's basically an empty shell, and I will go ahead and lay out the floor plan and furnish it for you. But at the time that I created that, uh, series. <laughs> I was really into furnishing. I mean, I still like furnishing, but honestly, I've gotten more into building lately. So this is basically a spinoff called Build Me. So I asked a few friends on Facebook if they had any idea for a house they wanted to see, and I built the shell, and I left it completely unfurnished for them to furnish. So it's also technically a collab, which is going to be really interesting because some of the people I'm collabing with have YouTube channels and some don't. So I will uh, definitely mention when they do. So this first one is with my friend Anime Nerd, aka Jenny. Yes, she has a channel. Yes, she is furnishing this on her channel. So I will link the video in the description below so you can check it out and see what she did with this. Um, um, but you probably tell from the thumbnail, it is a tiny castle and it is mostly purple. <laughs> and I don't even think she asked for a purple tiny castle. She just asked for a tiny castle and I made it purple because I tend to do really light pastel colors and I wanted this to be really cute and fun. But I don't know. I don't think purple is a color that... I do very often for an entire build. So, the, I mean, the castle is not really, you'll see, you'll see. But <laughs> I'm, I'm basically just building the towers right now. And I do, I was originally not going to make them part of the house, just there for decoration. But I do add these windows towards the end that make it sort of an outdoor living space. So I'm really curious to see what she's done with it. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun to check out. I really encourage you guys to go look at that. Um, so these cute little fountains, I just kept playing around with them because I wanted them to sort of mimic the octagon shape of the tower, but I thought it looked kind of funky, but I still left it. Just something different, you know? I always like trying something new and different. I feel like I've been sort of stuck in a rut of building the same traditional family house over and over again, so it's just a nice little change of pace to try something different. Even if you don't think it looks amazing, sometimes it can look better as you go on, as you progress. Uh, and a lot of people always ask me for building tips. So I might eventually do some sort of tutorial. I'm still trying to decide the easiest way to do that because there's just so much information up here. I, I feel like I kind of give little hints and tips and tricks throughout the builds, but I understand something more formal would be nice. But my best advice that I would give is just have fun. Try something new. Don't be afraid. If you don't like it, you could change it. It's The Sims. It's that easy. So I just tried something new with the fountain and it's, it's, it's okay. It's not the best thing I've ever done, but it's cute and I like it. There's those windows I was talking about. They're sort of like, I don't know, little balconies. I don't even know how to explain them, but I just thought they looked ador adorable on the tower, and I don't think I've ever used them before, so that was really fun to do. Really, really fun. So, yeah, now I'm just adding some more greenery. I didn't want to go crazy with the landscaping. I thought the fountains were sort of the feature of the tiny castle. And speaking of which, I've done another tiny castle. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was an all pink one, and it was much smaller than this, believe it or not. So I will make sure to link that in the description as well so you can check that out if you like. Oh, and I use the secret bookcase doors, like the secret doors with the bookcases. I normally don't use those, but I thought it would be cute. So from the inside, side of the castle they just look like bookcases and then of course they go out into those cute little towers so yeah that's the build that's the build guys um, am I going to put foundation? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I honestly don't use foundation very often. I don't know if I should or not. I just don't like that it restricts the entire lot so that everything has to be on foundation. So I usually try to stay away from it. Usually try. <laughs> All right, now we're just popping in a mailbox and a trash can. Again, things I tend to forget. They always stick out like a sore thumb, so I just kind of hid them there in between uh, between the gate. And then I was just trying to find a different stone pattern here that sort of blended in a bit better with, like, the, the bluish purple thing we've got going on. And of course, can't forget the lighting. That's another thing I also tend to forget sometimes. So I've been really trying to make a point to not forget the lighting because, you know, you play all sorts of times of the day, right? So you need to be able to see what you're doing. So this is the screenshot. I don't know what to call it. It's not... It's just a thing. It's a thing. I wanted you to be able to see the moving water. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to check out my next video and go check out Jenny's video. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Like the light changed and that scared me. I thought there was a ghost. <laughs> Bye!
wait guys before you go anywhere don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when i disappear to subscribe